Hi, thanks so much for tuning in today. It's Handmade Holidays 2022 by Create with Christine. And today I am on project number three. And project number three is going to be an envelope treat box. So super simple and easy. This actually might be the shortest video of the four projects. So here's the little box we are going to make. And hopefully you can kind of see the joy and the peace sparkles a little bit. So super, super adorable. This would fit, you know, I forgot to look at the measurements to see if it fits the gift card. So I'll put that in the notes um, of the video, but it will definitely fit like a small gift. Uh, candy and that sort of thing. So I again am using the Handmade Wishes stamp set 30 photo photopolymer clear see-through stamps and then I am again using the stylish shapes dies which I've used these uh, stamp set and these dies in project number one and project number two as well. So super fun um, the designer series paper I'm using is Painted Christmas, and it is in the Retiring July to December mini catalog, if you have this one handy, and it is on sale right now. If you're watching this, when I've recorded them, it's the first week of December 2022, so the designer series paper and the little gold holly leaves that I'm using as one of my embellishments are on sale right now as part of the last chance sale. So I'm just going to jump right in and like I said, this is probably going to be pretty short today, but that's okay. We are on day three of uh, four days of projects and I'm having fun with these. I hope you're having fun watching along. So I'm going to point my camera down at the station and we'll jump right in. So let me just make sure I can find myself in my feed. I am watching along. Uh, if you, whoops, that's the wrong one. So if you watched the first, well, a couple of my videos, this is the fourth video I've done this week, I believe. And in two of the videos, my computer died. So the first thing I did before I started was plug my computer in. So we're good to go there. So this is going to be super simple. Let's start and do our stamping first. And let me show you a trick with the joy and the peace. I am just going to bring over my trusty stamp and pierce mat and my stamps. And I went ahead and die cut this little banner from the stylus shape size with basic white cardstock. So the joy and the peace are two separate stamps. So what I did is I laid them out. I have like a, a mat. It's stamping up, but it's really old. Um, a really nice mat that I keep on my desk and it's got grids on it. So I laid down the stamps and then I, on the grid, and then I put my block over the top. This is an H block. And we're just gonna stamp in real red ink. So super, super simple. You could do the joy and the peace separately if you wanted to do this in two different colors. And I just spaced them out so like a large rustic metallic dot would fit in the middle of them. So let's actually while the ink is still wet, I did not do this in my original sample, but I'm going to do it now on the video for you guys. While the ink is still wet, I'm going to come over with my Winka Stella glitter brush and I'm going to move the ink ever so slightly with my brush. So, and it may, it, this makes it so sparkly. I'll um, show you up close in a minute. So, and don't worry, I went out of the lines a little bit on both of these. It's pretty small and I have my glasses on, but oof, I probably need to get new glasses. So I hope you're having a great week. Holidays are in full swing. I hope you're managing okay. It can be kind of a chaotic time of year. So let me know, um, do you get all your Christmas cards out in the mail? I still have Christmas cards to mail out. So I'm a little bit behind there, but I want to tonight uh, do all my out of state people to get those at least in the mail. So hopefully you can kind of see the sparkly there on the joy and the peace. So we're gonna set that aside and let's put together the envelope treat box. And you know what? I did not even take one out of the package yet. 
for to use for this. So excuse me while I just get this out of the package really quick. Okay, so they come in this um, kind of flat like this, and then you have seals too. I'm not gonna use a seal today, only because I don't have anything to put in my box right now while I'm doing this video. But let me show you, what you wanna do is fold on all the score lines. So let's just go ahead and do that. If you have a bone folder handy, I would definitely recommend um, using your bone folder too to get a really nice crease, but it's not necessary. I'm not gonna even do it, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip over and take these little adhesive pieces that come on the box for you. This is, These are so great. Let me look at the packaging again. Um, it's 20, I thought it was 20. You get 20 boxes in the one package, so you can make 20 of these. Um, so it's a great value. And I will have the links to how to order below on this video. There is gonna be an ordering special for this week. So if you place an order by Friday, December 9th, 2022, I am running an ordering special and you have to use the host code that I'm gonna embed with the link. So the host code is NGHPP67X. And if you place your order and it's $50 or more before shipping and tax, I am gonna give you a full package of the rustic metallic dots. And I'm using those on all four projects that I'm creating this week uh, with Handmade Holidays 2022. And then I'm also gonna send you a retired pack of six by six, 48 sheets, um, retired paper. So it might be this one, it might be a different one. So again, um, the ordering link will be below. So I took off my adhesives on my four tabs and now all I wanna do is put these tabs inward to make my box. These things go, to be go together in about one minute flat. So super, um, super easy. Like I said, I think you could crank out a whole bunch of these. You know, put on Lifetime or Hallmark and get the Christmas movies going. Have you guys been watching those this year? I certainly have because I found I don't have those channels, but I just got a new Google Smart TV and they have all these channels called Pluto and some other ones that you can watch the, those movies and stuff for free. So then you just hook these two latches together. And then one side of the box is gonna have a little slit. So you just want to go um, into the slit from the other side and you can't really do this very gracefully, but there you go. So, and then you could put your little envelope seal that comes in the packaging. Let me just show it one more time. I just grabbed everything that I had earlier, including my pierce mat, but these are the little envelope seals. I wanna be able to open this up so I can add something to it. So I'm not gonna put the seal on for this video okay so then this is how i decorated it super simple i have a piece of the painted christmas designer series paper and this is one of my favorite patterns from that pack um so this will be retiring in a couple weeks and it's currently on sale while supplies last like i mentioned so the designer paper is two and a half by seven and a half and you know what, I am just gonna lay it down and kind of pinch around. Now, you totally could remove this and where you've pinched, you'll know where you want to score with your Simply Scored scoring tool. I am not actually even gonna bother because it doesn't bother me that it has to be like 100% perfect. This is gonna work just fine. Just giving it a pinch and adding some adhesive here. So you can use tear and tape or liquid glue. I'm just gonna do some liquid glue and I wanna make sure my liquid glue is only on my designer series paper here. I don't wanna glue the designer paper to the box because I'm one of those people that likes the person to be able to reuse the box. So if I'm putting candy in here that's wrapped, they'll be able to reuse the box, okay? So you can give it a couple pinches and then I am just ready to embellish. And like I said, this is super simple. So I have a piece of vellum. It might be a little bit hard to see. It's definitely hard to see on the table. So let me just show you in my hand. 
a vellum circle from the stylish shapes and it's a two and a half inch square I'm going to put a little bit of seal plus on my joy piece banner here and put this across the middle and then I know where to put some more seal plus adhesive because I have my white banner there and I'm going to put this right over my pretty designer paper but since it's vellum you can see through it so I hope you like that little tip there and then just to add a few embellishments I picked some of the gold holly leaves and I'm always looking at these things going which way which end is the right end um, and what I'm just going to do is tuck them under the right corner so let me just get a couple glue dots and then I'm going to put a really pretty bow over the top of them so I'm just putting a uh, one glue dot is it on there it's on there Okay, and then the second glue dot, I might be off the camera a little bit, sorry. So I'm putting the holly leaf right to the glue dot and then onto my project without touching the glue dot. Okay, because the my fingers have um, like oil on them and I probably could have it hang down a little bit more because my ribbon's going to cover, I mean my bow is going to cover a bunch up of it, but you can still see it kind of peeking through. And then um, before I put this on, I just made this bow with my bow maker. I'm just going to snip the kind of edges a little bit with my paper snips before I kind of put it onto my project. I always find that it's easier to do this before it's adhered down. Okay, so sorry, you see all my mess there. Let me get that out of the way. And then this bow didn't come out as pretty as my first one. So I'll show you my first one before I sign off. Here is my same technique. I'm putting my bow to my glue dot, pressing down and picking it up. And then I'm just gonna put it over the gold holly leaves, just like so. And then I'm doing a mixed metallics. So the gold, uh, this is a Simply Elegant trim with the gold, um, with the real red and garden green ribbon. And then I'm just gonna mix up my metallics and bring over the rustic metallic dots. And these are kind of sort of, they call them pewter. Um, so I think it kind of goes because it almost has kind of like a gold accent inside there. I'm sorry, I'm moving it around all over the place. So super, super sweet and simple. You know, making handmade holidays does not have to take you forever to, you know, make a nice little gift for somebody. And I just think this would brighten anybody's day. So let me show you this bow because this bow is a lot prettier than the other one. So, and this is just like a belly band. So it will slide right off so they can get inside to the box, uh, to what's, whatever is inside, they can get inside to the treat. So this has been project number three. I will have one more project tomorrow for day four of Handmade Holidays 2022. And let me do a quick recap. If you are just watching today and you missed projects one and two, this was project number one, which was a Santa peekaboo treat bag. And similarly, similarly uh, oh, wow, I can't talk today. It's similar that it's a belly band and there's candy inside the little treat bag. And you could also put like a gift card or something inside. And then this was project number two, which is a mini gift bag, hold a little mini gift bag. And I put like a little tag with a little piece of chocolate in the front. And this has got a little candy cane inside the bag because I used the sweetest Christmas kind of candy cane looking designer series paper. So how do you get the tutorials and how do you follow me just to recap? app for Handmade Holidays by Create with Christine. You can follow me on Facebook, YouTube at Create with Christine. On Facebook, I have a page and a group. So in my group, there will be the PDF tutorial for these projects, which you can download for free. And I'm also sending out the PDF tutorials to my email list. So there will be a link below of how you can join my email list. So make sure you hop on there if you are not already subscribed. And 
I think I should just wrap up back at my face. So let me bring my, the camera back up to my face. So the ordering special is going to run through this Friday, December 9th, 2022. And again, there'll be a link with a host code. So if you spend $50 US before tax and shipping uh, or more, I am going to send you two gifts. So you're going to get a full pack of those rustic metallic dots embellishments. And you're also going to get a full pack of retired uh, 48 sheets of retired 6x6 designer series paper. So those are thank yous from me for placing your order with me. So let me know if you have any questions and let me know um, how you're liking Handmade Holidays 2022. I kind of did a different spin this year because in the past I've done a Santa's Workshop class and the timing has always been kind of poor of getting the class out to people and getting the class to people in time so they can make the projects so they can give them to their loved ones. So I decided to change it up this year and do this four part series uh, this week, first week of December. So you still have time to make some cute treat um, holders and gifts for people for the holidays. So I'll see you back here tomorrow for project number four. And just to let you know, the video is going to be uploaded to Facebook to my page at 6 o'clock Eastern. And then the email will go out to my subscribers at 7 o'clock Eastern with the PDF tutorial. So have a great week. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.